Welcome to our lecture online and now for something a little bit more challenging now we actually have a vector that will have a curl because we have a sine of theta as part of our vector function so now we're going to try to take the curl of this in spherical coordinates still it's a lot of work but as long as you divide it into three parts and take one part at a time it shouldn't be so bad so let's try it so let's take the first part which is the r part the radial part and so we have 1 over r times the sine of theta times the partial derivative with respect to theta of the sine of theta times the phi component of the vector. Now notice we don't have a phi component, so it means it's a sine of theta multiplied times 0. So that goes to 0 minus the partial derivative with respect to phi of the theta component. Now we do have a theta component, so let's write that down. It will be r times the sine of theta. Close the bracket and of course we have the r unit vector. So notice that this will definitely go to zero but there we do have a surviving component. So this is equal to 1 over r times the sine of theta times, this is zero, minus the partial with respect to phi of r times the sine of theta. But wait a minute, there's no phi part in there so we take the partial of that we get zero as well. So this whole component does indeed become zero in the r direction. All right, let's try the next one, which is the theta component. So here we have 1 over r times 1 over the sine of theta times a partial derivative with respect to phi of the r component of the vector, but there's no r component, so that would be zero, minus the partial derivative with respect to r of r times the phi component, r times the phi component of the vector, but there's no phi component, so that's zero as well, which means that this also, oh, I forgot my unit vector, so here we get the theta unit vector equals zero in the theta direction. So, so far, we're batting zero, but now certainly the third component should give us something. So let's try it, the phi component, so that is equal to one over r, times the partial derivative with respect to r of r times the theta component of the vector which is r times the sine of theta this and uh, minus the partial derivative with respect to theta of the r component of the vector but there's no r component so that would be zero and that would be in the phi direction. Now this is zero, but this is not. So that would be the surviving part. And so we get one over r times the partial derivative with respect to r of r squared. So maybe better to write it like this. So that would be equal to two times r times the sine of theta. And now one of the r's, well the r cancels out. So this would be equal to, and don't forget the unit vector. So this would be equal to two times the sine of theta in the phi direction. And so that would then be the curl, because that's the only surviving member. We have zero plus zero plus two times the sine of theta in the phi direction. And that's the curl of the function r sine of theta in the theta direction. Okay. <laughs> Is the door closed? Uh, 